Hey everyone, it's Michael here from goodyreader.com. Long-time Kindle users are generally familiar with Send a Kindle. It's a way that you can send ebooks to your Kindle easily and not have to plug it into your computer via the USB cable. You could be at work, school, out and about on vacation and you want to send files or books to your Kindle. One of the most popular methods these days for send a Kindle is to send EPUB books to your Kindle. Now, the Kindle can't read EPUB books, but Amazon, when you use send a Kindle, converts it to an AZW format. So it quietly converts it in the background without really telling users the, the semantics of it. Now, there's some limitations. If you use the Kindle app for iOS or Android, send a Kindle via email, the Chrome browser extension, or Windows for PC or Mac, the send a Kindles, there's a 25 MB limit. If you have the Kindle Scribe, generally more complicated PDF files are beyond 25 MB. Anything that we've really ever tested on the Kindle generally ranges between 50 and maybe 150 MB in file size. The more complicated, the more pages that a PDF has, generally it has a higher value. Now, most people don't know this, but in our review of the Kindle Scribe, there's some downsides. If you plug in your Scribe via the USB cable, so USB-C into the Scribe, USB-A into your computer, and you copy PDFs to your Scribe that way, you actually can't edit them with the stylus. You can only view them and turn pages and have some p light PDF functionality in terms of just viewing the PDF. But if you actually want to edit the PDF file with the stylus, do highlights, make notes in them, um, you know, uh, edit them to your heart's content, you have to use Send the Kindle. Now, Amazon just recently released Send a Kindle for web. And most people aren't aware of this existence. So you can see the, in the, in the description of this YouTube video, I will have a link, but you can see it at the top here, amazon.com.gp send to Kindle, all one word. This way you actually get a 200 MB limit. The send to Kindles that I mentioned here above, they only have around a 25 MB limit. So for people with larger PDF files, contracts, digital textbooks, D&D &D players guides and so on, there's a lot of PDFs that are just large in size and it's pretty easy to send it to Kindle via the web. If you're doing this for the first time, it'll probably you know ask you to log in. I'm logged in right now and it preserves the cover art of the PDF. So if your PDF is properly formatted and cover art is displaying like on your PC or on your Mac, this is how it will look in your library. So I'm just simply gonna click there and it'll ask you to add more files if you want. And it'll actually have a switch here saying, add files to your library. By default, it's on. And this just makes sure that when you send it to your Kindle, on the home page, it'll be available there as well as in your library when you sort by, you know, if it's the default sorting where it just lists everything, but if you sort by particular formats, such as PDF, it'll show. So all you do is click uh, send, and this is just a 14 MB file, so it'll be really quick. Now, it'll be sent to your Kindle roughly when you do this in about three or four minutes. Amazon uploads it and then syncs it to your device. Um, so, you know, have a little bit of patience when you send a file over and in order to fetch the file, Amazon does an automatic sync generally around every hour or so to fetch new content, but you can simply just tap the top of the screen and bring down the menu. This is the menu where you establish a Wi-Fi connection, Bluetooth, airplane mode, and adjust the front and light display, both the warm light and uh, the blue light. So once you click sync, 
this file will appear on your scribe and you will be able to actually view and edit this. So this is just a very excellent new method to send PDF files to your Kindle scribe so you can not only view them and edit, you know, turn pages, but you can actually edit them with the stylus as well. Hopefully this has been a great tutorial for you. If you have any questions or concerns, drop a comment below and for goodreader.com, my name is Michael and everybody take care.